Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. By the time you see this, it will have passed us by. And it is the perfect time to show a couple of ideas for some thank you cards. I thought it would be fun to break out my thin cuts. Uh, this first set of thin cuts here, it's a two-part set. It's meant to layer. It is called Geometric Grids, and it does coordinate with the square windows thin cut as well. But we're just going to use these two pieces here. The other thin cuts I thought would be nice to bring in are the bracket thin cuts. These are the stitched simple brackets. So they're a little more straight. And then on our other card we're going to make today, I used these. And these are also some stitched brackets, but they are stitched scallop brackets. So let's get started. I have some craft cardstock and I this is, oh, I'm going to have to quick run and check what that color is. It is Green Apple. I always forget the name of that one because it's a newer color. I'm going to take a little glue. I have a card base that I made out of some cardstock in my stash. Get this craft. Five and a half by four and a quarter piece of cardstock. We'll glue that down and then we will glue these down in layers. This card design is minimally stamped, though you can do all sorts of cool things with this. I'm just adding a little bit of ooh, glue. Haha. I don't call myself a klutzy crafter for nothing. <laughs> That's the name of my blog. And that would be why. Because it never seems to fail that I drop stuff. Got a little glue schmutz going on here. Let's get rid of that. Glue that down and then we'll glue the darker shade, the true shade of the green apple, the lighter shade is on the back side of the cardstock because of course our cardstock is two-toned, which gives you twice as many color options. Look at that, there you go again. Yikes! Oh well, you don't mind. It is what it is. You can lay them on top of each other like that, and I think that is so fun. My glue that I'm using, it'll dry clear. Isn't that fun? I love that. Ooh, so cute. Ooh, we've got a little glue schmutzy going on there. I took some of our white glitter paper. So pretty. And I'm going to keep these low key, which means I'm not going to put a lot of dimension on them. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Right smack dab in the little middle of that. Now I do have some stamps because we're making thank yous. The January stamp of the month for January 2021 is called Every Thank You. And look at all of those really neat different thanks and yous and thank yous and even a star and a couple of hearts. Oh, all the fun things. Perfect for January, close to my heart. Way to go. I have some basic black ink here, nothing fancy. Open that up. Our magnetic covers make that easy to get in and out of our stamp pads. Let's see if I can do a halfway straight job of stamping here. Excuse my head if it gets in the way. And ooh, I like it. That looks good. Again, I'm just gluing it down. You can use whatever heat adhesive floats your boat. If you like liquid adhesive, use it. If you like tape runner, use it. If you like um, 
course, if you want to pop this all off, you can certainly do that. But isn't that nice? Super quick. Super quick. Now my other example, same basic principle. So here we go. I have a card base, but this time I got some of our black glitter paper. And I'm going to use that as my foundation. Again, this is five and a half by four and a quarter. This time I'm using uh, the card base that I made in a horizontal position, so it's a top folder. You can see it'll open like that. And not bad. And here we go again. We are. Oh, you're going to put this one down first. We're going to put the dark one down first. And, you know, as little or as much glue as you'd like. Um, I don't think it needs a ton. The glitter paper might be a little more challenging, but I think it'll be fine. And I'm centering it. It will have a little border all the way around which helps that to stand out all the more. And then we'll take this one and we'll put it on top. And this is the lighter shade of Lagoon. This is Lagoon cardstock. And you just keep dabbing your glue on. Okay. And it fits right over the top. Like it was meant to be and it was it was I love these big dies and I want to show you some ways to use them because they are an investment and when we're spending our hard-earned money we want to get some use out of this stuff so stamp of the month will become available in January it is 1895 regular price if you have a $50 order, then you can buy it for $5. That's a great buy. If you are a VIP, you get to buy it for nothing. It's free if you spend $50 when you're a VIP. That's one of the perks of being a VIP. Let's see what we get here. I think I'm going to stamp it once just to season it a little bit and maybe again. Yes. Sometimes you got to do that. Stamp, 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 just to get it to really hang on to that ink well. And I apologize if my big old noggin is getting in the way. Sometimes you got to get your head over it and look. Ooh, that turned out quite nice. And again, with a little glue, I'm just keeping my dimension at a minimum on this card. Easier for postage and mailing. But of course, you certainly could pop things up. Magnetic closure, we'll close that so in case disaster wants to strike. And there you go. Isn't that bright and vibrant on that black glitter cardstock? This I just used, again, the, the Lagoon, the same shade that's on the bottom there. And then White Daisy, White Daisy, yes, White Daisy on the top. So two card ideas for thin cuts and minimal stamping featuring the January 2021 Stamp of the Month, every thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed and crafty day, and I'll see you next time.